and uh, set the project to 2D. set up Um, next thing we're going to do is a folder structure to keep so we all know how to make folders in Unity, don't we? Yeah, uh, so just right click in the project panel, uh, create a folder. So, first thing we want is animation. And then we want uh, prefabs. One 
the scripts. And then audio. And, uh, I think that's it for you uh, for now. First thing I'll uh, run through the UI, <coughs> uh, the one built into Unity. So for um, if you see on the top bar, there's one called uh, Game Object, and then if we, if you see the option called UI, uh, there's some list. So we want to click on the one called Canvas. Okay. Uh, we got that. Okay. And then in the inspector on the uh, right hand side, you'll see a canvas scaler. Uh, yeah. uh, for the UI scale mode, uh, scale mode, put it to scale with screen sc uh, screen size. It's just so uh, images don't go off the screen when the screen scale to a, a weird aspect. Okay. So <coughs> in the uh, hierarchy, an event system has been created. This is needed for buttons and um, inputs things like that. So um, if you right click on the canvas that's in the hierarchy, um, you are, you've now got the options to create uh, text, images, buttons, things like that. So um, if we create a panel, yep, got that. Um, the blue things allow you to scale it to any size you want, so if you can um, just scale it to a uh, size you want a main menu to be, like a thing that shows your buttons, uh, like in the centre of the screen. We all done? Yeah? No? I assume so. Uh, next thing you want to do is just rename it to um, main menu. Uh, things that you want to put your buttons on, like play options and things like that. And then set the uh, to set the pivot to the centre of the screen, uh, shift left click on this box that's under rec, uh, rec tranf uh, transform in the top right corner. And then uh, shift, yeah, shift left click on the middle one to centre uh, centre the pivot. Uh, if you shift left click on the box, uh, do you see it up the top uh, corner, round about here? Uh, if you click uh, shift left click on that, uh, you click on any one of these, it'll um, centre the p uh, pivot, like top right corner, middle top, things like that. If you want to uh, click on the one in the middle. So if you click on the main menu panel that you've just created, uh, you'll see in the right, uh, to the right of the screen, uh, there's a, thing, a button called Add Component. Uh, uh, if you type in the search box, you want to find a verti yeah, vertical layout group. And then that'll have added the component for you. Um, uh, right clicking on the main menu, you, uh, you want to create a couple of buttons. Uh, 
if you just duplicate the buttons, it'll um, because of the vertical layout group, it'll uh, sort the buttons into a list, uh, you know, vertical up and down, and then uh, they won't go over the parent object, which is the main menu. Uh, control D's to duplicate. Um, have you added the vertical layout group? too fast. Ah, sorry. You can rename the buttons to anything you like. Um, I've just called them play game options and exit. Um, next thing you want to do, if you want to, you can sort out the padding for the vertical layout group. So if you click on the main menu panel again, where the vertical layout group has been placed in the right corner, you'll see a label called padding. If you click on the little arrow next to it, it'll uh, create a little drop down that's got uh, four options. If you change the numbers in these, it'll create padding uh, for the num uh, buttons that you put in. So um, if I put 10, it'll <coughs> 10 pixels from the left-hand side of the panel that you created. Just and then the one called spacing uh, adds um, space between the buttons, so it doesn't look all squished up together. If you click on the main menu panel that you created, um, if you see in the right, uh, you see um, vertical slide, uh, vertical, uh, uh, God, layout group that you've created. Can you see uh, where it says padding? If you click that, there's numbers there that you can input, um, like top and that. It creates space between the. I don't know what it's called. Yeah, it basically has a border. Than that. We're finished? Yep. Okay. Uh, next thing we want to do is change the text on the buttons. So if you find where you've done your buttons and um, whether you've renamed them or not, see these little arrows to the left of the uh, name? If you click those, they'll uh, create a drop down. There's an option called text. Uh, clicking that will um, change the inspector on the right hand side. Then you've got uh, where it says text. Uh, can people see that? Uh, where it says button on the 
right hand side of the screen in the inspector you can change that to whatever you want the buttons to be called play game now if you just do that for all three buttons that you've got You can also change the size of the text as well. Um, underneath where you've inputted the button name, you've got um, options for font, but uh, there's only one font at the minute, Arial, because you need to download one and add it to your project. Uh, font style, bold, all your same things you've got, and your font size. Uh, and then you've got um, underneath your alignments, where you know, to the left, center, right, up, down. And then there's one called uh, Best Fit. Which uh, scales the text to the size of the button, uh, whether the button gets bigger or not. It should be like that. If you've imported a max, uh, where it says max size, if changes back to whatever number you want to test it. That's not English. There go. Look at that. We all done. Yeah. Uh, what I'll do is I'll stop it at 20 minutes and start it again, like in 20 minute blocks. Uh, have we all done the buttons? Text. Yep. Uh, next thing you want to do is create another panel by uh, right clicking on the canvas in the hierarchy. Uh, get UI panel. Then uh, resize it to the shape you want. Again. Uh, this one's going to be for the options, so you can rename it to options panel or menu If you want the options panel to be underneath the main menu, uh, you can set, uh, turn off the main menu by clicking on it in the hierarchy. And then, if you uh, look on the right hand side of the screen, there's a checkbox uh, near the name and the inspector at the top. If you turn, <coughs> sorry, if you click in that, uh, it'll turn, it'll set the game object to <coughs> inactive. So it's still there; you just can't see it. Uh, clicking on the main menu in the hierarchy. There's a checkbox in the top right, uh, top right corner. Can you see it? Next to the, yep. Okay. It just makes it easier if you're putting panels behind panels. So from there, uh, right-click on the options menu panel uh, you've just created. Uh, go to slider. Yeah, and uh, it's got a child of the options menu.
If you right click on the options menu again, there's an option called text. Uh, this is to create a label for the slider. So um, just drag this wherever you want and then uh, change the text like you did for the buttons in the right hand side of the panel. So for this one I'll call it uh, music. There's for the volume. So white. Uh, you can change the color of the button uh, text as well and buttons and things. If you're right hand side at the uh, bottom there'll be an option for color. That will allow you to change the color of the text. And uh, if you rename this slider to music slider or um, whatever you feel is best, because it makes it easier to navigate through the hierarchy when you've got a lot more things in it. got these slider and label. Uh, after we've done that we just want to basically copy and paste them and uh, rename them to game sounds or sound effects. So sound No? It can uh, be any design you want as long as there's a parent object to set everything to invisible when you're swapping between the panels. <coughs> 